The Tiffendal Ski Resort is located in the high mountains of the Eastern Cape, near the village of Rhodes. The resort nestles under the shadow of the highest mountain in the Cape Province, the 3,001 meter high Ben Macdui. We visited this resort during October 2013 and were delighted to experience fairly heavy snow conditions. There are three access roads to get to Tiffendal. The most commonly used route is from Rhodes via the Carlisle Sookspreit Pass, which although very steep, has been strip concreted and can be managed by a normal sedan vehicle in good weather. The other two approach routes are 4x4 only. Volunteer Zook can be used to approach from the War Trail New England area in the east, whilst the Tiffendal Tenerhead Traverse can be utilized from the eastern side from the Nordia's Neck View site. Should the area be covered in snow, the resort can make arrangements to collect visitors with a 4x4 shuttle service from roads. Should you visit here during snow conditions, please be aware that the ice that compacts on the walkways and stairs becomes extremely slippery. Tiffendal is currently the highest resort in South Africa at an altitude of 2,720 meters. State-of-the-art snowmaking equipment ensure that there's snow for at least 100 days of the year. Two modern snow grooming machines service the 2.3 hectares of the ski area, while snow guns blast 120,000 liters of water per hour, covering it in 2 centimeters of snow within 24 hours. The resort itself can accommodate up to 150 guests in well-heated timber chalets. This ranges from budget all the way through to luxury freestanding lodges. Tiffendal also offers two and three day snowboarding packages during the snow season. There's a very strong Scottish settler influence in this part of the Eastern Cape, which is evident by the many Scottish names that were given to farms, mountains and lakes. Besides the obviously Scottish Ben MacDewey, there's also a Loch Ness Lake and farms with names like Glengyle and Petlochry and the approach pass bears of course the Scottish name of Carlisle. The risk of sunburn at these high altitudes is very high, making it vital to bring good quality sunscreen, dark glasses as well as lip balm. There's good quality cell phone reception provided by MTN. Heating inside the chalets is provided by the English radiator system, which is highly effective. Summer activities include grass skiing, hiking, fly fishing, mountain biking and 4x4 driving. The new Ben Mac Dewey Pass can be driven all the way to the very top of the mountain, offering outstanding views and scope for photography. Some of the finest gravel mountain passes are directly accessible from Tiffendel and Rhodes. These include the previously mentioned Carlisle Hook Sprite, Volunteers Hook and Tiffendel Tenerhead Traverses. Other important passes are Nordia's Neck and Jabez Pass, and a little further south is the very tough Buster Footpath. On the eastern side of Elliot, one can drive the beautiful Otto Duplessis Pass, which can still be driven in a normal car if the weather is good and the road has been recently graded. The resort is open year-round having secure facilities and is available for team building, corporate, government functions and big or unusual promotional events. In the warmer months, Tiffendal is the hub of the Eastern Cape Highlands area, which is one of the best off the beaten track adventure lands in South Africa. In the 2014 winter season, Tiffendal hosted the first international race ever held on the African continent, with top races from Sweden, USA, Slovakia and Austria attending. Tiffendal employs local permanent staff and helps uplift the local communities with training and skills development. For bookings and further information, please visit tiffendal.co.za.